Practical SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming, Database Design, Relational Database Design with Visio, Once you are finished with logical uh, database modeling, we are ready for physical data modeling and database design. And uh, the best way to start is, of course, with a logical model and turn it into a physical model. So let's go into Visio. So this is our logical model. So let's save it as and let's call it fizz design save well what we have to do is to attend our tables and uh, add some columns to it to make it a complete table so this is the order details quantity quantity should be int unit price should be money discount should be float and when we see that uh, the order detail table is expanding let's go to the order table add ship date actually day due let's select date time ship date date time and uh, tax money shipping charge money total weight float that should be a good start and of course the product table product name color weight weight should be float list price money
unit cost money restocking level it should be integer add quantity on hand integer again and that is a good start for the product table let's go ahead and fill in some information for the customer and shipping tables as well so our um, physical database design is uh, shaping up would be nice to move the order entry up okay great the beauty about this is that um, using the logical model diagram we are just able to go and fill in basically the non-key columns or the attributes and we don't have to worry about the design but design is already pretty solid it uh, is like work division now once we are finished first of all we have to keep saving it if we have a right version we can go to database and there should be an option here that says generate generate SQL code from this or it's called forward engineering now to do this you have to have a special version this is a professional version it doesn't have this feature you have to have enterprise architect and if you have enterprise architect then you can generate SQL code let's just uh, close this out and actually open uh, the Visio diagram of the AdventureWorks database now we are opening it in in real Visio this is not like navigating in an HTML format or navigating in a PDF format so we close it and let's open it so this is it and here it is we have adventure works Visio diagram actually open in Visio we can navigate it well can we make changes to it not that we want to make changes but we just want to check out the facility for example let's go to a table we are familiar with and this is a products table so in the products table PK is the product ID and the name is a unique constraint and product number is unique constraint FK is a size unit measure is foreign key foreign key and product subcategory ID is foreign key and product model ID is foreign key so if we click on it actually we can do changes to it here are the columns primary ID is product ID index columns on name triggers check constraint extended notes columns so what if we press add can we add another column yes we can add another column but we don't want to to add a column so we just want to undo it great the unique uh, constraint is associated with uh, the natural key 
The product ID is identity 1-1 one, one sequence such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It may have holes in it, but it's basically a number assignment. Name on the other hand, it's a natural key. Name of a product such as Blue Road Bike 800. Product number is an internal identification in Adventure Works, which probably the accounting department established using some kind of coding, and they keep it unique themselves. Now, how do we keep it unique in an Excel spreadsheet? Probably uh, must be mechanized uh, so we can check if there is a duplicate or not, because we can just sort the Excel, and we are not going to create a duplicate uh, product number. The natural, putting a uh, unique constraint on the natural key is very important because we don't want to have two, uh, two cells in a natural key with the same value. That would become confusing. That would be an error. In this unit, we got familiar with the database uh, design facility in Microsoft Visio Professional extremely capable tool. This is the end of the unit.